So we're a temperature control contractor, so we put uh, the systems into buildings that make them uh, either comfortable or warm, cool, hot, whatever the case may be. Um, and then we also do security systems, so uh, digital video and card access. And then we get into some specialty systems as well, um, nurse call and other things within the healthcare market. We have a pretty specific vertical focus and most of the buildings that we do are larger in size. We probably start about 70,000 square feet and then go up from there, but do a lot of work in, uh, in hospitals. Banner would be probably our largest customer. I uh, went to vocational school in 11th grade and so I got my union card. I worked full time as an electrician, went to college part time. And um, when I was in school, I actually got involved in a, uh, in a fraternity and, and somehow ended up as the, uh, the IFC president, which is kind of the president of all the fraternities. And little did I know that that would create an opportunity for me to get uh, job offers that, that I couldn't have never expected before. Um, so I went to work for Procter & Gamble, actually, which was a great job out of college. So from there, then I uh, worked for Honeywell for about 10 years, um, learned a lot about the business, made all the mistakes that, uh, that you would want to make while working for somebody else, and then got involved with Climate Tech in the, uh, uh, the mid-90s, actually, here in, uh, in the Phoenix area. If you look at what we do, and let's just talk about temperature controls, security, fire alarm, uh, those are things that historically have been done by larger Fortune 100 companies. We, we really looked at that as an opportunity very early on in our evolution as a company to really go after their customers because the, you know, the way you grow is to take market share generally in a, in a stagnant market. We made a very specific strategic um, decision five or six years ago that we weren't going to participate in the, the economic downturn. I don't really look at the economy as a challenge, more so um, how, how, uh, how our people are going to be able to go out and actually take care of customers and create opportunities because uh, we're, you know, there's things being built, there's opportunities out there. Um, our challenge is, is to either go out and create opportunities or take share. Uh, when I received the call, um, it, uh, it was a surprise because uh, we've always tried to stay under the radar and, and not really in people's, uh, people's sights. To have worked the last 30 years and, and to, uh, to not really to go out and seek the recognition, but for someone to call and say, hey, we, we believe that you've contributed to uh, the construction industry in Arizona, um, is a uh, it's great honor. I think it allows our folks, our people, to uh, have the opportunity to develop and build relationships and, and to uh, develop their skills. That's how, how we really see CFMA.